Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy One Shot Nine back again with another video. What we're talking about today is five essential things beginning filmmakers should get before starting their good journey to great money. So stay tuned for five things that you're gonna need as a beginning filmmaker. The first thing that we're gonna talk about today is camera bodies. You can't shoot anything without the actual camera. So make sure you get a camera that is good for the preferences that you need it for. If you need 4K at 120, buy a camera that has 4K at 120. If you need a color depth, buy a camera that does the same color depth that you're looking for. If you want a good sharp image, buy the camera that you need. If you wanna go into an ecosystem that you're looking to grow in, that's the reason why you need to go into a great camera. Buy the things that you need. If you need a weather sealed camera, that is a reason to buy a specific camera. Don't go out and buy cameras because people tell you, because they said, oh, this is the cheapest one, this is the nicest one, go with this brand over that brand. No, if you wanna go into a specific brand, make sure that brand is going to do your work correctly, all right? I jumped from a couple different brands, but I did really well when understanding what jobs I do each one for. For social media, I have a Canon camera. For my bigger projects, I have a Blackmagic 6K. For my smaller budget projects, I have a Sony camera that has autofocus. There's a lot of different things you are going to have to run into to understand what kind of camera you need. So make sure you buy the right camera for yourself, for your business. Keep investing into that ecosystem and keep investing into your work. The second most basic thing you need as a filmmaker is lens. You're gonna get lenses from different places, from different walks of life. People might give you some, you might buy some, you might uh, rent some you really like, but lenses is probably the second biggest thing maybe arguably the first best thing that you need to start your filmmaking career um, I would invest in glass before I invested in camera bodies we talked about getting the ecosystems and all the extra stuff but when it comes to lenses I would say a lot of the ecosystems are compatible with one another so I wouldn't worry about that learn focal ranges learn compression learn what you're shooting learn if you need autofocus or manual focus learn if you need a photo lens versus a cine lens I'm not gonna just be the person telling you not to get it but I'm gonna say learn about it before you buy it so make sure you check these things out before you buy your lens and focus on how you're going to make money with these certain focal ranges these certain lens looks and these certain lenses prices because lenses are very expensive so you have to make sure that you're on track to getting the right lens for yourself third thing third thing is storage make sure you pick the right storage for every project there's three different types of storages i said there's an editing storage there's a shooting storage and then there's backup editing storages and shooting storages well technically that's four things but anyways make sure you get storage for all of your projects in different ways because if you're on set and you have a storage unit that breaks or you have some type of thing that messes up or you lose it make sure you always have a backup one and then make sure you have one to dump on what we use on film set they call them dits those are the people who dump their their job to dump footage so make sure you dump footage on an editing drive that's separate from the shooting drive because you can't edit on what you shoot you can if you buy big terabyte things but you always want to make sure you have a backup for everything so if you have four different ways of storages that's four different backups that you have sitting somewhere um, that you can always pull from if anything happens with the project you can just plug and pull depending on what kind of you know editing software you have i have davinci but you can just plug and pull so i would suggest that three be storage and that you definitely worry about storage more than you worry about everything else because you can have lenses and camera bodies but if you don't have the right stories to shoot the right things you're gonna mess it up and if you don't have the storage at all because you lost it that's also your fault so make sure you get the storage correct there's different kinds of storages there's external hard drives there's ssds there's uh cfast cards the different forms of it make sure your camera body that fits your projects fit the storage you're looking for to buy as well because they can be very expensive all these things can be very expensive so make sure you're double checking everything that you're doing and you should be fine when it comes to storage but make sure you buy storage fourth thing people always forget the fourth thing it's the most overlooked thing the number four thing that's really essential is audio make sure you buy the right audio as a beginner filmmaker most people are going to buy a shotgun mic they're gonna buy something that goes on top of the camera. Learn audio, learn how it works, how to manipulate it, what to do, why you're doing it, because audio is half the battle. Pursue tech careers with the DeVry Scholars Program. 
as you can see audio just messed my video up audio is 50 percent of the battle with video if you do not get the audio right then you're gonna get the video halfway looking good you're gonna have good visuals but no connection towards suspense towards emotion you can have a nice really nice looking shot but if you have no audio towards it you really don't know what's going on what you're listening to what you're hearing you really can do so much with audio and using sound design and using all these other things that cause suspension and personally for me i'm a doc style video shooter so i personally love suspension and i love the 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 birds chirping when you're playing beach b-roll you can't just have beach b-roll you gotta have some type of suspension in the background or some type of something that makes me feel like i'm in the video with you with the whole idea of this audio because if you look at some of the professional filmmakers what they do is they actually before they have an explosion they have no sound before the explosion and then as soon as the explosion happens then they have all the sound design right there during the explosion to cause suspense because that is a part of the video 50 percent of the video is audio so make sure you buy into audio correctly you're getting lav mics you're getting shotguns you're getting the understanding of where these things go need how it works that was some of the things that i didn't know as a filmmaker that i wish i knew how sound works and now to me i run sound pretty well i know people run better run it better than i do but hopefully i don't do too bad so make sure you get your audio correct i would suggest lavalier mics i have a lot right now i can use it in different ways to me it's the best way to get audio people like shotgun mics they like them boomed over the head i personally don't do it boomed over here too much but i mean it's a second stream of audio so when i do i have a b cam have my second stream of audio going through that camera but when i go back and post i usually use the loft mic anyways make sure you get your audio make sure you get it right that's the number four thing and the final and last thing that we're going to talk about is battery solutions for battery solutions you're going to have to make sure you get a couple different batteries for your type of camera making sure you have the right battery solution for your camera can make or break the whole project you can be on set for three hours you can get a battery notification saying that your battery is about to die you only brought one battery and now you can't finish the project so make sure you buy a whole bunch of batteries for your hybrid cameras for your cinema cameras make sure you get a v-mount system battery solution is probably one of the most important things that's why it's on this list of top five things filmmakers should get before they start their journey so make sure you get your battery solutions make sure you get the cameras make sure you get the lenses and make sure you get the correct storage for the things you need to shoot so continuously working on your craft do what you need to do and take these five essential tips and put it to your day-to-day -day work peace